have a plastic bag, which means only one thing. Owl crate. This got here yesterday, and I meant to film this yesterday, and I didn't, clearly, because it's Sunday, and it got here on Saturday, and I'm just filming it now. Anyway, we're going to get in today's owl crate uh, box, this, this month's owl crate box. I have my plastic bag for all the crinkle paper. Okay, there we go. And the first thing I see is the blanket, which is fantastic because it's starting to get cool. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put it on my floor for a minute. Stay. Where's the spoiler card? Hello? Spoiler card? Oh, here it is. Okay. A glorious haunting. Um, yeah, so it's September, so we get our Halloween spooky themed box this month. Um, okay. Okay, so the first thing on here is the blanket on the card. Okay, Michelle Gray designed this flannel blanket featuring the full text of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven to be the perfect cozy companion to have upon a midnight dreary. Sorry, I'm like having a moment. I loved reading Edgar Allan Poe when I was in high school. Hey, mom. Oh, I thought you were making a video. I am. Then why are you calling me? Because this blanket has the entirety of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe on it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I will be using this tonight because it is already getting cold cool and while I do love the fall I do get cold easily and this blanket is oh. here Gengar um okay next um stir some gothic vibes into your next couple with our stainless steel skull spoon set inspired by the bone how the bone houses I think that's this okay yeah that's this all right is cool. I'm not going to take these out yet. So they did little spoons and okay, it's okay. I think you can kind of see it like that, but they're skull designed. Oh, I think it's easier to see on this one because it's black. Yeah. And then there's this one. So they're a, gold, a golden color, a silver color, and then a, a blackish onyx color. Oh, I'm so excited for these. I don't, I don't drink coffee, but I do drink a lot of tea, and these are going to be wonderful for me to use while I'm drinking my tea. Okay. Nothing screams autumn like surrounding yourself with pumpkin-spiced goodness. You can't get enough of the Sleepy Hollow-inspired lip balm that Fiction Bath Co. created exclusively for this box. Okay. So this is the lip balm. It does smell very pumpkin spicy, but um, I'm not going to use this because I have very sensitive lips and they break out very easily. So I can literally only use like three brands of lip balm, um, particularly during the winter because yeah. So I'm going to put that over here and I will figure out what to do with it. Um, okay. Novelty yours whipped up something extra magical in their cauldrons with this black flame candle. Okay, that's this. It clearly says Black Flame Candle on it. I can see that. Ooh. Oh, Essence of Vanilla and Bourbon. Okay, I was about to say. I could smell something vanilla in here, but I couldn't smell the other thing. Yeah, I can smell the bourbon. Okay, wow. Um. Wow. Okay. Um... I won't be using this a lot because the van I can smell the vanilla, but the bourbon in it is really potent. Next. Uh, label Lapels and Spells designed this Death Before DNF enamel bookmark that's perfect for marking your place in your seasonally spooky reads. 
Okay, for not bookish people who are subscribed to me, DNF is an acronym used in book reviews that means did not finish. So let's see what this bookmark looks like. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Okay, this is it almost looks like earrings. This is this is nice. Let me see if you can see the death before DNF. Okay, this is a really nice bookmark. <clears throat> I don't do well with um, regular paper bookmarks because I take my books everywhere. Okay, no one's really... I'm not going anywhere right now. Um, but I do. I like using metal or um, like the wooden bookmarks more just because they, uh, they're more durable. And last but not least... Oh, wait, nope, the pen. Whoops. Okay. The Pickety Witch took inspiration from, and I'd have to reveal the book, so never mind, we're going to do the book first. Okay. Autumn TBRs deserve atmospheric haunting reads with its spine-chilling elements. Horrid totally delivers. So this is Horrid by Katrina Lino. Um, I know nothing about this book whatsoever. Um, okay. Set in dilapidated in New England, set in a dilapidated New England manner, this contemporary horror story explores themes of mental illness, rage, and grief. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover and author letter from Katrina Lino. Uh, turn your dust turn your dust jacket to the reverse side to see the exclusive artwork artwork that Rena Illustration created for our edition. Hmm. Okay. So here's the thing. I think the last. What was the book we got last? September. I'm not a big horror person, but this does sound really interesting, so I might actually get to this one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big horror person at all. It has to be horror mixed with something else. I don't do straight horror. Um, and then we have the pin. Oh, everything's falling. Ooh. Okay, the Pickety Witch took inspiration from Horrid's distinctive rose-filled gardens, when designing this month's enamel pen. We hope that you love the subtle witchy aesthetics of this piece as much as we do. Okay. And there's the pen. It's a hand holding a rose. Okay. Okay, wait, maybe not a Okay, nope, that's not a rose. I don't know my flowers very well, but that's not a rose. I clearly just read rose-filled gardens and I'm sitting here saying it's not a rose. Okay, ash. Uh, All right, and then we have... Can we not fall? We have the little magazine. Anyway, the theme of the October box is legends and lore. Flip for a sneak peek. Uh, every October box will include an antique and useful item created by fabric designer Janine Lacour. Okay. Um, just by legends and lore and seeing how popular um, and how well received the book has been, I'm willing to wager that it's going to be Legend Born by Tracy Dion. <sighs> My copies have not arrived yet. I am waiting for them. I ordered a subscription box through uh, a bookstore. So when that gets here, I will do an unboxing of that. It was like a Legend Born themed box. Um, but yeah, I'm 95% like sure it's Legend Born. And, ah, okay, so that's that. Um, I'm going to put everything in its place and curl up with my blanket. That's a lie. It's... It's Sunday. This is a football house and the Giants are about to play. So I'm probably going to watch the football game. And then when I see the Giants are going to lose, I'm going to leave. Anyway, um, that wraps it up for today's unboxing. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Give a like, give a subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye.